This is the second part of the Cree Big Cannons Fashion Guide. In it I will tell you about new types of powder charges and about automatic loading of guns and about other interesting things. And the first of them are new blocks rapid firing breech units, with which you can very quickly load your guns with shells and generally reduce their size. But first I'll tell you about a large cartridge. In fact, this is a large reusable powder charge that can be replenished after firing. That's how it looks empty, unfilled. To fill it in, you need to connect it with a nitro powder, a new item in the crafting window of the workbench. And you can fill it up to four times as much as possible. But keep in mind that each filling is also summed up and affects the final load on your gun and the speed of its rotation and movement. In fact, instead of making a sausage out of several powder charges, you can craft this one block, fill it and it will have the power of several powder charges, which will allow us to put fewer barrels at the same power of guns. But I say that the cartridge is reusable and after the shot it remains inside the barrel. It must be obtained in any way, and we will answer the following questions in advance. Is it possible to load multiple cartridges at once? The answer is no, there will be an explosion. Is it possible to use cartridges in conjunction with conventional powder charges? The answer is no, there will also be an explosion. And also, never put the cartridges like this. This is wrong and for some reason they are set by default. Place them with this face forward so that it looks towards the projectile. Also in this fashion, a new type of fuse has appeared, a delayed action fuse. Take it in your hand, right click and adjust the delay with the wheel, then install an explosively suitable projectile, load the gun and shoot. And after the collision, the projectile detonates with a given delay with a probability of 67%. And now let's talk about rapid fire shutters, which will allow you to charge your gun very quickly for further firing. And to create it, you will need a rapid fire mechanism. Take it in your hand, click it on the breech of the gun and it will instantly turn into a rapid firing bolt. By clicking on the quick firing bolt with a wrench, you will again make an ordinary breech of the gun out of it. Now let's figure out how to use it. Next, assemble the cannon, then right click on the rapid firing bolt, exactly on this side, and it will open. Next, right click we will put two items there. Necessarily the first one should be any of the shells, and the second one should be either a powder charge or a large cartridge. Then, with an empty hand, click on the rapid fire bolt and close it. You can shoot. And a little life hack that I noticed. By opening the rapid fire shutter, you can quickly take the contents of the barrel closest to it to your inventory. And for example, let's calculate the gun, where we will have a firing rate, a bolt and a large cartridge. The first, by installing rapid fire shutters, you automatically reduce the power of your gun to four powder charges as much as possible. Second, depending on how full your large cartridge is, you will calculate the length of the muzzle. And an example, we will build a rapid firing bronze cannon for three powder charges, so that it will be more interesting to count. Let's get started. Fill the large cartridge three times. For a bronze cannon, the ratio of the length of the muzzle to the powder charge is 3 to 2, so for one powder charge we have one and a half muzzle lengths, and we need 3, multiply 3 by one and a half and get 4 and 5, round up and get 5. Time to build. The gun rotation controller, cannon mount, breech, one barrel and five muzzles, as we expected. Two levers, click the rapid fire mechanism on the breech. Let's assemble the cannon. Now right click on the rapid firing bolt, opening it, and click on it with a projectile, and then with a large cartridge containing three powder charges. Then click on the shutter, closing it. Shot, the cannon didn't explode. And also, if your gun has a rapid firing bolt, then with the help of a mechanical hand you can automatically charge it. Take a mechanical hand in hand and first set two blocks from where it will take shells and large cartridges. She won't take powder charges, then click on the cannon mount, here she will put them. And also you need to choose a block where it will store used large cartridges that are already empty after the shot. I have a brass funnel with a filter on an empty cartridge. 
I recommend giving the mechanical arm items one piece at a time so that it works correctly. And that's where all my friends are. If this is your first time here, I advise you to subscribe, because I have a lot of interesting Minecraft videos on my channel.